everyone. It's been a while since I've done a video, but I figured I'd bring a new video to you showcasing my new guitar. What I got here is uh, my brand new Yamaha APX700. And I'm going to do a little review on it and play a little bit for you to show you what it sounds like. But as you can see, it's a really beautiful guitar. It's a really nice finish. This is called the finish that Yamaha puts on this calls a sandburst, and it's really cool. I've never seen a, a, an acoustic with a burst color before. But it's uh, the top solid spruce uh, with solid uh, mahogany back and sides, one piece mahogany neck, unbranded uh, Yamaha sealed tuners, uh, it's got cream and what looks like black color binding all the way around the guitar body and up the neck. Uh, the binding even carries on, you can see that there, into the, the headstock. It's got 22 what look like light medium frets because they're pretty small. Uh, Mother of Pearl inlay which carries on to the APX logo and the Yamaha logo. They're all on Mother of Pearl as well. Rosewood bridge, your standard probably plastic saddle and black bridge pins. And it comes with the, the new uh, ART pickup system. And what's great about this is Yamaha redesigned their APX guitars and the battery no longer has to be changed in through the sound hole, it's changeable right here, which is cool, it's very accessible. So no more trying to feed in through the in through the sound hole. <clears throat> all in all, it's a great guitar, it sounds great. Uh, even though most slimline acoustics don't really have the tone of big acoustics, this one is a slimline, but it's more towards the full size thickness of a body. It doesn't have, it's not really as thin as most thin line acoustics are, which is cool. And the body is actually tapered. It goes from fat from the soundboard all the way down to the neck joint. Yeah, it's cool. And what's really nice about this guitar, other than the features I've mentioned, is the Yamaha <clears throat> includes a sound hole cover. So that's another expense you don't have to pay for, and it's pretty easy, easy to use. It's actually rubber, it just slips on in there, and you're done. I'll let you hear the guitar, what it sounds like with and without an amp. I'll let you hear what it sounds like with this, without the sound hole covered and with it sound hole covered. <coughs> sound hole cover and of course by putting the sound hole cover in it dampens the bass and everything down quite a bit which is cool if you're if you're uh, playing and people are sleeping it, it dampens it down just that much so it's not so loud here it is with the sound hole cover Sound hole cover. On one. Whereas before, with my old Farrington electric acoustic that I had, I had to turn my amp up about 
five or six to even hear the guitar through the because it just the, the piezo and it just it sucked. Okay, here's it with the, the sound hole. Just turn the, the the treble up a bit. lead on this <coughs> the strings are a bit high off if you can see it they're a little bit high off the fretboard but I was on Yamaha's website and they say they do that for a reason because I guess there's a lot of slide players out there who want their strings a little bit higher off the fretboard but they also give you instruction on how to take the bridge down I'll save that for another day for another project <laughs> Well, that will run my review, and thanks for watching. And let me know what you think. Uh, overall, it's a it was a gorgeous it's a, it is a gorgeous guitar. Uh, wasn't that cheap, even though some, you know a lot of people out there don't like Yamaha products, and, and and I've always liked Yamaha acoustics. I always thought they sounded great, uh, but I got this just for just under seven hundred dollars without the case uh, but I know there's a lot of other better acoustics out there but for what I play and my style of playing I like the, the thin line cutaway style guitars and I'm really happy with this one well it's also got a rosewood fingerboard on it too anyway that's my video or my review on the APX 700 so you can see the headstock there. Gorgeous, gorgeous guitar. Thanks for watching.